Everyone want to play AAA games in ultra quality, 4K resolution and obviously max FPS. But getting all this in a low budget, is it possible? Don't worry gamers, I'll tell you how to do it in this video. Hi everyone, welcome back to our gaming channel HLG. Today we have an exciting project. We're going to build a budget gaming PC which deliver extraordinary performance without breaking the bank. If you're ready to jump into the world of budget gaming, let's get started. When we choose a CPU for gaming, I would go for Intel Light Linus. And for budget gaming CPU, we chose i3 12100F, which cost only $84. This CPU is a quad core and have eight threads. The turbo boost frequency is 4.3 gigahertz. Max TDP is 89 watts, typical 58, so consume low power. This CPU support DDR5 and DDR4 memory. It also support PCI Express 5th generation. This CPU can be a best match up to RTX 3060 Ti and RX 6700 XT without bottleneck in latest AAA games. It also support latest features like resizable bar. This CPU is F version, it's not overclockable and a dedicated GPU required. So less price. Gamers do not need integrated GPUs. They prefer to use dedicated GPU. So gamers can save money on F version CPU. The cooler is included and the thermal paste is already applied. Please do not underestimate this cooler. But we have this aftermarket cooler which we will be using in this setup. For i3 12100F, we could choose a bit more budget-friendly motherboards like B660 or H610. But we did not want to miss extraordinary features like we found in NZXT N5 Z69080X. We got this wonderful motherboard in only $120. Z690 is a future-proof motherboard. LGA 1700 supports 12th and 13th gen Intel CPUs and can handle up to i9-13900K CPU. Z690 is good for overclocking CPU and RAM, but we would not go for extreme overclocking on this motherboard. And F version CPUs are locked anyways. Four memory slots available which support DDR4, ECC and non-ECC memory in non-ECC dual channel mod. It also supports XMP 2.0 profile and can overclock memory up to 5000 MHz. It has three PCI Express Gen 5 16X slots. The first one gives full Gen 5 and 16X performance. The steel armor for extra durability if you populate all three slots, so the second and the third slot will perform in Gen 4 and Gen 3 mode relatively. For storage, it has four M2 Gen 4 slots, three in the front and one at the back. It has also four SATA 6 gig ports. For connectivity, 2.5G connection for lane, and for wireless built-in PCI Express Wi-Fi card is already installed, which supports Wi-Fi 6E connectivity. Wi-Fi antenna installation is highly recommended for a stable connection, which came with the main board. This motherboard has lots of extra features like lots of USB ports included, USB 3.1, RGB fan support, Heat sinks for VRM cooling, a button for flashing BIOS without installing CPU and RAM. Best budget GPUs are AMDs. Our first choice is RX 6600, which you can easily buy in $200, probably price gone bit more down by now. 
RX 6600 has same hardware and performance as RX 6600 XT if you do a bit of overclocking this GPU. It supports modern features like Radeon Super Resolution, FSR and Smart Accessible Memory with AMD CPUs or resizable bar with Intel CPUs. It has 8 gig of GDDR6 VRAM which is good enough to play most of AAA games. XFX is a well-known brand. This GPU has a dual BIOS, Echo and Performance mods, which you can switch with this button. If you want more powerful GPU, RX 5700 XT or RX 6700 XT would be a good choice, which you can secure in some extra bucks. If you are fond of ray tracing and DLSS, so RTX 2060, RTX 3060 or RTX 3060 Ti would be a right choice, which we will test on this setup in our upcoming videos. These all GPUs are supported by this gaming setup and there will be no CPU bottleneck. The PSU we picked is a ADX 850W 80 plus gold full modular. A 650 watt PSU would be good enough for this setup. Most of good PSU are available around 40 bucks. For storage, we pick crucial one terabyte P2 M2 NVMe SSD, which you can buy between 35 to 40 dollars. This M2 SSD read and write speeds are 2400 megabytes per second and 1900 megabytes per second, which is good enough for gaming and normal Windows tasks. We will install these two DDR4 RAM modules, 16 GB, 3200 megahertz each. Brand name is Jazer and we bought from AliExpress in $44. You can cut down more budget to install 16 GB memory in total, which is good enough for this gaming setup. This beautiful wireless mouse is a must buy product. I played variety of games with this mouse. I love the price, features and quality. It has 2.4 GHz Bluetooth connectivity. It does not lag beautiful RGB lights and design and hold a long backup after recharging. The brand name is Yu Lang Game Mouse. We got this amazing product from AliExpress and paid $7. The keyboard we got from AliExpress, the quality is satisfactory. We bought at lowest price so we cannot expect much, but it does all the job. It is a USB RGB wired keyboard. We paid almost $7. I'm used to playing games on PC with mouse and keyboard, but some games like Flight Simulator or racing games are good on controller. Or some people like to play only with game controller like PlayStation and Xbox. So we got this amazing controller from AliExpress in $10. The experience was so good, the price and the quality good too. So this is a highly recommended product too. It is wireless and rechargeable, holds a long charge and no lag.
Okay, the tricky part starts here to install Adeline Edition Preview Driver for AMD Fluid Motion Frames. I have given the link in the description where to download preview drivers. It's very simple to install just like the normal drivers. These drivers will almost double FPS on most of games. This boost is driver based so it will work with the most of games not like FSR or DLSS are limited to some games. Here you can check the current version of preview drivers installed. Overclocking or undervolt your GPU nowadays very simple. You can go in Radeon software settings and click the undervolt button. This will increase performance in less wattage and GPU will not heat up like in overclocking. Or you can just increase the power limit in MSI after burner. Now you need to go under gaming tab and press graphic button. Here you can see fluid motion frame, enable this option, plus NT lag. This will enable fluid motion for all games and you can enable and disable fluid motion in each game setting as well.
Passmark results are impressive. You can see RX 6600 Passmark scores on the website is around 15,000. And on this system with some extra settings, RX 6600 scored around 20,000, which is a more than 30% increase. Wow! Units, we have a situation in Westbrook. Please respond. Copy, dispatch. I swear to Christ, if it's Uridine again. All units be advised. Suspect remains in the vicinity. Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent.
should pull my weapon away to avoid trouble. the name. What does he look like? Older. Wears a fedora. Dresses like a tourist. Never stops fucking talking. Sorry, <laughs> senor. I have hey. not seen him. How about the Libertad Terrorista Clara Gallo? Abre esa cabrona puerta! Papers. I don't have them on me, senor. I must have left them at home. I'm going to have to report you. No, por favor, señora. There must be something I can
Which way is the common room? Professor catches at this time. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sure you <laughs> use them. <laughs> On the other hand, it means it's hope for us. <laughs> it was perfect for stargazing the other night. Here, have a sip. Go on. It's hardly worth studying for potions, unless you're anticipating being poisoned sometime in the near future. Who doesn't know she is anyway? For a thrill. <laughs> Professor could arrive any moment. Don't fall off this guy. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time.
Okay, partner. Some old bitch is trying to put a curfew dot sign. Seems like every day is worse than before. Oh! Excuse me. So, how are you? <laughs> Hello, mister. Well, this is the whole process to build a budget gaming PC. We able to play AAA games in a low budget. We learned how to choose hardware and tweak the key settings to get extraordinary performance. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this video and found helpful, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Happy gaming everyone.